What ligament attaches here is indicated by the straight arrow. This coronal CT of the upper cervical spine shows a mildly displaced fracture of the inferior and medial aspect of the right occipital condyle. Axial slice shows this mildly displaced fracture again. This is the alar ligament. To review, the alar ligament joins the lateral margin of the dens of the C2 vertebra body to the medial aspect of the occipital condyles. These ligaments lie on either side of the apical ligament. The alar ligaments are strong paired ligaments which limit axial rotation and contralateral lateral flexion of the head. They are the primary stabilizers of the atlantoaxial joint in conjunction with the transverse band of the cruciform ligament. Here again is the coronal CT showing the occipital condyle fracture where the alar ligament attaches. More specifically, this was a type 3 occipital condyle fracture. There are three categories as outlined by the Anderson and Montesano classification system. Type 1 is a comminuted fracture associated with axial compression injury. It usually is stable. Type 2 is a basilar skull fracture extending into the occipital condyle. This is often associated with a direct blow to the lower skull. Usually this is stable also. The case we saw here was a type 3 avulsion fracture at the alar ligament attachment. It's associated with forced contralateral bending and rotation. It is potentially unstable. As part of the differential are alar ligament calcifications. These are rare, and the components of the calcification may be calcium pyrophosphate dehydrate or calcium hydroxyapatite. Now you know a lot about the alar ligament. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.